you, when we opened the show today, we talked a little bit about what it looks like to move from the spring market into the summer market. And there's a there's a lot of sort of unspoken connotation with a spring and summer market that I think at most people in my 20 plus years of experience, they assume that we're all thinking about this the same. And I assure you, we're not. A lot of people think about the heavy attention of the summer market because we're kids are getting out of school. We'll talk about that here in a second. A lot of people think about it um, simply because other people have said it and now they're repeating it. Uh, other people have have a belief, which at times has been accurate, but is not always accurate, that interest rates and banking and lending and inventory are just more favorable late spring, early summer. Well, my 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 position, my belief, my you know proven theory is that every year is different. Every market is different. Every season is different, and ultimately, every day in every house are different. But let me let me share some thoughts on what what we see already happening as we have moved from the winter market to the spring market and the spring market is beginning just now in May to start feeling like the summer market. No doubt about it. When we roll into June, we will be hot and heavy summer market. But I can tell you this where we are today. Almost every contract that gets signed this weekend will close in June or July yeah. or, or later. If it's new construction, it might close next April or May or or yep. more than a year from now. So all that to say, in that sense, we are in the summer market. Now, Ian shared some real estate market data earlier that housing inventories. Now, this is going to surprise a lot of people. If you're just joining us, you're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. And the statistic that's going to follow is true. In many areas in our market, housing inventory has doubled. Maybe tripled even. Recently. More than doubled recently. Now that sounds like that can't be true. Yeah! What? That's right, Lil John. It's true. It sounds like it can't be true, but it is true. We've gone from about one-fifth of one month of housing inventory to, in some places, um, two-fifths or, you know, two no, one half, one half. <laughs> when I, I can't go more than that. I had one price point that was 0 0.8. Yeah, there, there's some anomaly close. price points in certain areas where things are bouncing around because there's only one or two houses on the market, and that data is just not as reliable. But, you know, you look at places like Richardson, Plano, Keller, West Fort Worth, Weatherford, Alito, Benbrook, uh, Allen, Frisco McKinney. Uh, these places are all generally acting the same. And that the truth is the inventory had gotten to all-time lows, and it's, it's, it's doubled or better, but that still has it at extreme lows. As When we are as low as we were, we were counting housing inventory in days. We're back up to counting it in weeks, but we're nowhere near counting it in months. What does all that mean? That means buyers are buying houses really fast. They're not staying on the market. Sellers have a ton of leverage. Sellers are sometimes and a lot of times making mistakes and leaving money on the table. Buyers are often overpaying and they're acting too impulsively. And the best solution to all of that is a plan with a world-class full-time dedicated real estate agent and lender and title team. Your real estate agent's usually the best place to start to get into all of that. But having the discipline of a plan and the right expectations to not be emotionally side railed by all this. And then you can then you can move forward and be successful in this market. Now, what are you supposed to do about all that? Get in touch with a really great real estate agent or broker early, early, early. Start talking to somebody now. If you want to be moved before school gets back in, here's the scary thing. It's taking most people a little bit longer to find a house than it has in the past. So if you're just buying or if you're selling and buying, you need to factor in a slightly longer process. Now, let's just call that slightly longer process 45 to 60 days. Well, it's late May now. 45 to 60 days from now puts us out in late July. Most school districts in our area go back to school in early August. Mm -hmm. First, second week of August. Well, we're there. We're there right now. If you don't figure this out in the next few weeks, you may be talking about moving after school comes back. Now, that's fine. That's not the end of the world. As a matter of fact, we caution people not to let the stereotypical traditional thoughts about moving when school's out really derail your plans and force you into making bad decisions. 
we coach against letting the school calendar force you into bad decisions. Let me say that one more time. We coach and counsel and lead and guide our clients away from letting the school calendar dictate your real estate decisions and forcing you into bad decisions. But if you want to get a game plan together early um, or if you're starting to feel the crunch that it's a little late, go to overunderagent.com, one of our world-class, fully dedicated, full-time Todd Tremonti home selling team, realtors and specialists will get connected with you and get you set up. Oftentimes you'll start with a conversation with Ian. Ian will help you understand your needs and the market and which one of our world-class agents is the best fit for you. Schedule a virtual or phone consultation just so you can kind of get a feel for things, get expectations set correctly, even if you, you might be a year out. And so just a Zoom or phone conversation is best. And then oftentimes the smartest, best next step is to sit down here in the office or at the house and get the ball rolling on selling and buying or buying or just selling or whatever the whatever's best for you. All of that starts online at overunderagent.com.